I wouldn't say it was doomed. We were really trying to attack this problem that nobody else had the structure in place to do. Spending time trying to maintain equipment that's either obsolete or that they're not funded to maintain. And so it really becomes a training distractor. The leader in me wants to give that time back to the soldiers. Modernization to Vestature Repair Site is a Department of the Army initiative to eliminate a bubble of excess that is across the Army. Deployments to Afghanistan, deployments to Iraq, to Korea, and to Germany. Units, every time they deploy, they get new equipment or they get additional equipment. As they come back, then they go into a retrain cycle that equipment stays, the equipment that they didn't deploy with stays, and they are not funded to actually execute the maintenance or repair of that equipment. What we're looking to do is lighten the workload for that end user. So we've really stripped it down to the bare bones. This means a lot because we have, um, over the last 10 years, um, really gotten away from command supply discipline and command maintenance discipline. We need to get back to that level of supply and property accountability. Um, and so overall, MDRS is, is helping achieve that um, by really just getting rid of the equipment that's sitting in a unit footprint. It takes leadership involvement. It takes leadership prioritization and planning and allowing those soldiers the time to do this. When they take the time to understand the process and they're able to educate their soldiers on it, we've seen great success. The impact in the overall mission of MDRS is so much larger than just what you see here at Fort Hood. Um, it will have overall Army impacts.